Hi there, Physics 20. I just wanted to explain to you what's going to happen in this unit and all the free knowledge you need to expose to me and the beauty of physics at the same time. So first things first, I'm just going to make sure you understand how to work the course. You will realize that your textbook would be right here. So you just click on that and then a new folder pops up and there's your textbook. And you are using your textbook right here. Click on that. And that's chapter one for that one. So we are working on review. So that means these three previous topics that you learned back in screen seven, eight, and 10 will be um, influenced in this video. So you'll need to answer some of those questions that are from there. And do take the time to answer them correctly. And I'll get you to answer them now. Welcome back. Now I wanted to explain to you what else happens in the course? So we've, sometimes you'll see a little page and this is basically explaining to you that there is a video or something else that's on there. If you click on that, you'll see there's some videos on significant digits. Keep in mind, significant digits are very important, especially in physics and any other science course because of the fact that uh, when you do experiments, you wanna have that precision and accuracy correctly done. And it's gonna be emphasized in this topic, by the way. And in the web lesson, this is a part of your mark, web lesson so keep in mind what's going to happen in there is, is that you're going to be realizing that there's going to be theory do you have to learn you might already know the answers go right to the questions if you like if you do that keep in mind um, it might alarm you that you might not get the answer correct first time if you didn't read the questions prior to it and then here's your other bit the little page in a check mark that's a review material so just in a nutshell this is what it looks like as your course the next thing I wanted to talk about is some beauty that happens in physics. The beauty that I'm talking about is like what you learned back in grade seven structures. There's many structures around the world that has this beauty of how is it even able to stand up? Like this crest moon to this building looks all demented. The cathedral that's massively made here are instruments that are just astonishingly humongous. And then there's even in India, or Al Shai, this is a very pretty symmetrical image that happens here. And there's even more like the shoe, high heel shoe that is, a W building, and the following. You will realize there is a lot of beauty in any of this. Another topic that was brought up in grade eight now was hydraulics and mechanical systems. In mechanical systems, we need to talk about something about a force. And you're gonna be realizing more about force later on in, the, in unit B, where we're gonna be seeing force. Keep in mind, a force uh, is a great way to define it as, as a push or a pull. Another thing was interesting is energy that you learned in grade 10. And some of the things that you learned in energy, they gave you many of examples that uh, were found from the good old natural resources from our oil in our red in Alberta to we could even have some parts in Alberta, the windmills. And we even have other forms of energy that exist. As you know, there's plenty from, well, from coal that used to be used, which is still being used in Alberta. Uh, there is also, um, turn the turbine you could use water so that's from dams and so forth and you realize there's more to learn in the future the reason why I put the following photos over here Joffrey uh, that's just nearby Red Deer here and in Joffrey there is a cogeneration plant this right here is the cogeneration plant where it actually provides all the excess heat that's coming from Joffrey power plants that are making oil and so forth, and they convert all the excess waste into a building. And those buildings are being used as businesses. That's the beauty of having a cogeneration that exists uh, there in Joffrey. Then we could talk about how there's distance time graphs that you learned last year. So all of these things are all review that you're gonna be learning. I would like you to think about all the beauty that you do see in your everyday life and re reflect upon it. And I'm just going to end with a prayer here. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, let, me, let us always open our minds to what's around us. Physics is known as a science that studies everyday 
living habits of physical beings. So with your helping hand, let us explore the beauty of this world. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Have a great turn with us and good luck of understanding these concepts.